Hey everybody! On one of our previous videos, friend of the show Average Bo actually asked us a question, and we thought this would be a good opportunity to do a video about it. And I'll pop his video up, his question up right here, but I'll also read it right now. He asked, I need a machine that will act as a media center and decent gaming machine. I found this page and wanted to ask you if you change anything. Thanks in advance. So let's go ahead and pull up that page and take a look at what they have here. So it's a page, looks like it focuses on medium, low, low budget. Yeah. I would say it was low budget from what I, I saw of it, but... So let's go down to the bottom just to look at what their budget is. So, so it the looks budget like... at the bottom they came to, to completion was... Five hundred sixty-nine dollars. Yeah, that so to that, me is low budget. Yeah, for a gaming anything that's you would, for a PC that's probably mid budget. But anything anytime you got gaming, that's going to be the bottom end of a, the spectrum for gaming. So let's go through it. We'll go through part by part. Uh, we did actually talk to Bo since this, so we've actually told him what we thought about this build, um, and we'll tell you uh, that after. But for now, let's just take a look at what's actually in this build hypothetically and our thoughts on it. So. First off, I've seen this case around before. If you're looking for a very small form factor case, it'll fit under a TV really cleanly. This is a great home theater PC yeah. case. It's it's a small, it's a like you said, a low profile, short short uh, case. It'll fit exactly in that little you know those little nooks they usually have for. It's probably uh, about the size of a VCR. Yeah, a VCR uh, for those kids <laughs> out there. That's what we used before. I can't even reference a physical box they use. I mean, that's what before we, they, Blu -ray that's players. what they used before your parents used. It's the size of an Xbox One. Yeah. There we go, kids. Sucks. It's that's the size of an Xbox One. <laughs> the original Xbox One. So, for CPU, they've got an older AMD 8-core processor, which, for the price, is not bad. You can definitely get way better for this price yeah. now with Ryzen out. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would avoid this at all costs. Just go with a Ryzen I or not I three R three. Go with a Ryzen three over this. Yeah, it's anyway. funny because this uh, the the thing says this is a build for two thousand seventeen, but that CPU is more in place in like two thousand eleven than it is in two thousand seventeen. Yeah, it's, it's 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 at least five years. It's gonna be a choke point for any sort of gaming you're doing. Um, the motherboard. It's the same. It's the socket. It's the socket that's compatible with that processor, so yeah. it's also older. Um, 1866 megahertz DDR3 RAM. There's I mean, nothing bad about it. You're using it. DDR3, so it is the older older RAM. That's not super fast DDR3 either. Uh, four terabyte Seagate drive for 110 bucks. I mean, that's a deal. Yeah, that's a good if price. If you need mass storage, go for it on that. 1050 Ti. That's not a bad grab, if, if, especially if you're going for a budget build. In fact, I think we used a 1050 Ti in our $800 yeah. gaming PC. Sure. It's a good card for a good price. Nothing, nothing bad about. That. But if they're wanting to focus on 4K gaming, there's no yeah, way. Yeah, it's not this on a 1050 Ti. Yeah, this, this whoever wrote this article, it it'll do HD if 4K playback, no problem. HD gaming though, it's not gonna do 4K. It, if you, it'll do Maybe 4K in like low two frames per second at, at low settings, but. You'd be better off playing at 1080p with high settings than 4K low. Yeah. I think you're going to look better at 1080p with higher. So settings. yeah, so they went for that 569 price point, and yeah, I guess they may have built this before Ryzen came out. I don't know when this this yeah. article was made, but Ryzen kind of made the the C, the CPU. It was actually before Ryzen came yeah. out. Yeah, so, so they did this January 21st. So that makes to their sense. credit, Ryzen hadn't been out. Ryzen kind of made that CPU motherboard choice obsolete. But uh, like I said, we've actually talked to Average Bo since, um, and what we what we discussed with him uh, is that he actually is he's decided he wants to go up a little bit on his budget because he wants it to be more than just decent gaming. He wants it to be a pretty good gaming machine. Um, so his budget now, I believe, is twelve hundred dollars. That's what he came up to, yeah. And he already has some parts on hand. Yeah, it looks and like he, he must have traded with somebody or had some parts that he wanted to use. So we're going to go ahead and show you the parts that he already has before we get started with what we would put for the rest. So for a case, he's got the Fantex Entho Evolve Silver, which is a great looking case, not the tempered glass version. It's a great looking case. He'll probably lay it on his side to fit under his TV as like a home theater PC, but... I love that case. I, for case. the price he paid, he paid $300. He got this case, 
processor, motherboard, and a cooler for his processor. Yeah. For it's, 300 bucks, you can't beat it. Yeah, it's tremendous. So that's his case. He's going with the Intel i7-6700K. So, I mean, it's a great processor. It's older, but it's yeah. fine for, for gaming. Again, he paid 300 for this group of, of parts. Yeah. So for the price, it's going to allow us to get some better hardware for GPU and RAM and all that. Then my personal favorite, he has the Cooler Master Hyper 212. Uh, we don't know if he has the Evo or the Plus. We don't know which version he has, but um, I Probably you can't get an Evo. You can't say anything bad about this <laughs> this cooler. Like it, as far as air coolers go, since this thing came out, it's been, in my opinion, the top air cooler like out there. I mean, for the price, it's really good. You you can get better ones at say yeah, eighty dollars, but but like you're not you don't get that much more performance out of them compared to what this one gives you. And right, it's very specific. It, this this is a tremendous buy. If, if you ever need, if you're ever well, we our, one of our previous videos we'll have probably put up before this will be a, a troubleshooting uh, thing, a troubleshooting video. If you ever have issues with your computer overheating and you find out like that your CPU cooler doesn't quite work, replacing it with a Hyper 212 Evo most likely going to fix the problem. I personally have already done that once, fixed my problem. Yep. So motherboard, he's got a Gigabyte. Z170X Gaming 5, which looks like a really cool board. A lot of red happening. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're going for a discrete board, it is oh, not. But this is cool. It's got USB Type-C. Yep. Uh, it's probably Gen 1, but that's fine, too. What are the... Uh, so we got, it looks like, two 3.0s on the right side there. Um, USB 3.0, and it looks like a display port and HDMI on the board. I don't mm. know what these yellow ones are. They may Those be... are probably with for powering, quick charge, yeah. stuff like that. That's usually what the yellow ones are. The red one might be a Gen 1, while the blue one is Gen... Oh, sorry, is, so there's, is 3 there's three 3.0s. Yeah. But overall, it's a good board. I mean, it fits this processor perfectly, and it's, yep. it's great. So let me just gonna add that, all the parts we have now, to our PC part picker. All right. So, so right. like I said, he spent three hundred dollars on those parts already. So now let's go with. Um, I guess mm. since we already know the the processor, we already know the. Let's probably let's pick the uh, uh, RAM. Let's get that. Yeah, because we know we're gonna go with a high powered video card. Yeah. So we but, so we don't know how much money we have left for that. Let's do the other stuff first. And with RAM being as expensive as it is, thank you Apple, huh. thank you Samsung. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I like G-Skill. I'm just always going to be the first thing I pick. Yeah, G-Skill's pretty great. Um, and we're definitely going to do probably 16, 16 by 2. Gigs. Yeah. Make sure we get DDR4, which is not really going to be a problem. I'd like to see some RGB though. I bet the RGB's kit's not too expensive. Ah, 159. That's uh, totally worth it. So, I mean, so he wants it to be under a cabinet, but he also said he wouldn't mind if it had a couple lights. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, RGB RAM is not that expensive. No. 16 gigs for 160. I mean, it's higher than it's been in the last year, but... And it's 3,200, so it's probably not even, you know... All right, so as far as storage goes, this is... With a budget of $1,200, I feel like there's nothing else that you should get besides a 960 EVO. We'll go with an EM2. Yeah. I, I don't think... I mean, $117 for the... So, there is something we should bring up. The Using the M2 drive will probably make it so that you, you can't use two of your SATA ports. It, yeah, it's either going to be tied to two, maybe four of the SATA ports, but I think this board has six or eight. So, with that, you technically have lost two, but in reality, I, I, in my opinion, you've actually lost, um, you've actually only lost one, because in reality, in, in if you were going to use, if you weren't going to use the M2, you'd have to be taking up one of your SATA ports anyway for your boot drive. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this way you get, in my opinion, you get better performance, you get better, you get better speed, and you've lost SATA drives, but if, you know, if that becomes a problem later on, you can always find another solution, but... Um, yeah, we just wanted to make sure people know we are aware that you're going to be losing two of your SATA drives, but in this case, having four SATA drives left over isn't going to be a problem. It, it, it'll be fine for what Bo has. Uh, he has two mechanical drives I think we're going to add to this on hand also. So our total right now is almost 600 bucks. 
that leaves us about 600 to do power supply and video card. Well, so for video card then, having them having recently released the uh, yes 1070 Ti, I mean that's probably where we're gonna go. A choice between the 1070 Ti and the 1080 should probably always go to the 1070 Ti just because of its cheaper, better price. Um, let's do the power supply first, just so we know. Yeah. So what are you looking for wattage? I think 600 watts. I like going 600 watts. We'll bring it down to like a thousand-ish. And I like EVGA and Corsair. Yeah. Uh, Seasonics are nice too. Let's see if there's a Cooler Master is not bad. Cooler Master. You don't have to go with any of these. These are just our personal favorites. Yeah. It, we, we're definitely not going to see a Seasonic. Oh, wow, they are, <laughs> they are cheaper. You were about that, to say you're not going to see it. <laughs> usually the Seasonics have been the more costly ones. Yeah, Corsair 650 right there. That's not bad. The CX 650? Yeah. 50 bucks. What about... Um, you're trying to look at the size of his... Uh, so it has a power supply shroud, which oh, hides cables really it. well. So it you not being modularity. Yeah, it not being modular wouldn't really be a problem. But I doubt the CX is modular. We're just gonna add it. We can see if there's a modular one for that. It does. That's what I'm saying. We don't really need modular though. That's true. Because of the case and the cables are black. Good. No, no German flag colors here. <laughs> German flag colors. It's eighty plus. Yeah. Should be more than enough power for. A single high high end GPU. Alright, so that leaves us five seventy three. We can easily get a, a ten seventy TI in there. Yep, so we're not even gonna hit his budget. No. Which is kinda nice. Give him more money for put in the ten eighties just to look at them price wise, the comparison, you know. Alright, so obviously yeah, the so cheapest 1080 is it's 500. 500. I wonder, is that like a Founders? Yep, there you go. It's not Big a Founders, but it uses it's a It's got blower, a blower. So it's going to be loud. Uh, Which you don't want in a home theater PC. We should probably go back to that really quick, Jamie, just so we can specify for the people out there that are not the Strix, the, uh, the Turbo. The Turbo? So when we say the blower, for those of you who are, are unfamiliar with PC parts, this one has a single, uh, that single fan in the middle is actually a blower. It kind of pulls in air from the, that's what I'm not saying, it's probably back on the right side, right? It's pulling air in from right, right here. It pulls in air fr from where it is and then blows exhausted, it out the side. It's exhausted out the back. And it's not a bad cooling mechanism, but it's a loud cooling mechanism. They get it, very loud. Yes, they do. These fans run very high RPMs, like 5,000. And it's, to me, it's not worth it with the noise. A lot of times, loud laptops are loud because they have a blower fan. That's usually why you're hearing that kind of... It's a blower fan. Sorry for the noise. So the next one is an Asus 1080. The Strix at a 509. But still, yeah, you're paying $40 more. The 1070 Ti is so close. I mean, the, the thing is, you can get... You can push the 1080 Ti to the point where it performs. Ti. Sorry, the 1070 Ti. But if you were overclocking anyways, you could overclock the 1080 also. Yeah. I'm torn. It's Yeah, it's a tough choice. Because we do have it. It can fit the budget. Yeah, why do they do this to us? <laughs> <laughs> it's very torn. Um, it's. Let's look at the 1070s. What do we have for 1070 Ti's? We have... I mean, the first one that stands out is the EVGA. Yeah. Super clocked one. Let's look at that one really quick. 469. <clears throat> so it's Cheap got. fan. Yeah, I mean, it's got their pretty classic cooler. It's, I mean, it's, it's tough. <laughs> it's, it's kind of why the, you know, so many people have been talking about how, how the 1070 Ti kind of makes the. It's kind of in a weird place because it's a it, it's that step between the 1070 and the 10, 1080, but it's so close to the 1080 that it almost makes it weird to buy the 1080. 
if you weren't going to overclock at all, the 1080 would be better. It does have a higher core clock out yeah. the box, and it has the extra CUDA cores. It's going to make it a little bit faster. So, yeah, for a $40 difference, I think... I mean, we'd stay within budget, right? Yeah. And that moves them up to even just one more level. Yeah. Who's this guy, right? The Strix, yeah. Puts us at 1137. Also, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think the Strix card will have RGB components in it, so you can... Uh... Yeah, I believe I, it does. I believe the G-Skill... Yeah, it does. Um, the G-Skill... If I'm not mistaken, I think G-Skill's yeah. RAM also works with uh, Aura Sync. So you can make it rainbowy as you want. Get rainbow. Show your pride. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Yeah, I mean, let's look at the full build now that we've got it all in there. Total cost is at eleven thirty-seven, which is just under. I mean, with taxes and everything, we'll probably and, get it right at his budget. And that's no peripherals again. Yeah. And just the one SSD for a boot drive. But he already has, like I said, he already has his mechanical drives that he's going to use. Um, I mean, this this is a great machine. This Here you old... go. The mail-in rebate on the video card may that's make true a, make a difference for you or not if you can or can't do the mail-in rebate. Yeah, the extra twenty dollars would make a big difference. I think. I think I'd pick the ten seventy Ti if it was this price without the rebate. Yeah. Versus 469 for the 1070 Ti. But I don't know. It's that that's a tough choice in this case, though. It worked out for us. We were able to keep it under budget, and uh, and he he was very lucky to have the um, uh, he, he was lucky to have have found somebody or to have acquired the uh, the the you know the, the CPU motherboard cooler and. Uh, case yeah. for three hundred dollars. That's a that's a great price on what he got there. Um, if he were to try to buy any of those things at the time they came out, he probably would have spent that much just on the the CPU alone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, th this is going to be so for his needs. This will be perfect. He'll be able to game on it without any issue, um, and he he'll be able to. Uh, it'll be a great home theater machine because. You have even the graphics card; it has four, uh, three fans on it. But because under like a, a load of just watching a movie, it doesn't have to run very fast. It doesn't have to run hot. Uh, you can have those at a very low RPM on the fan curve. So and that Strix cooler has been rated as one of the best yep, air best GPU air coolers. coolers so far. So it's going to be great on noise. So even if even if we didn't, even if we weren't going to go with the 1080, I'd probably look at the 1070 Ti Strix just to keep that air cooler. I'm not sure if they actually have one out yet. We'd have to check. I think they did. I think it was in there when you were looking. Let's, we can look. Let's see. That just automatically adds another... Uh, it does. Is it yelling at you because of the power usage? I don't know what it was doing. I guess we'll just remove it and add another one. So you saw... I believe I saw a 1070 Strix just, there. Or just change it to Asus. 1070 there. Ti Strix. There, yeah, look at the price on that one. It's $500. Yeah. So, <laughs> with that mail-in rebate, it's essentially a $10 difference between... Uh, NVIDIA? <laughs> Why have you done this? I'm actually not that mad that they've done it. I'm a little mad that I'm not mad. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, at that price point, though, that $20 difference, at the $10 difference at this point, actually, um, you're not going to, you're not going to do much better than what you've got here. Um, yeah, I guess the RGB RAM was a little bit overkill. You didn't have to go with that, but if you want it to look good. Yeah, compared to the other 16 gig kits, though. Yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah. I think this was actually one of the cheaper ones. Yeah, compared to the other kits. So, so yeah, this will be a great, uh, great build for you, uh, average bow. Um, if you, if I'm not mistaken, I think the intention is for us to, if he does decide to build this computer, we'll we'll yeah. probably put it together. You guys will get to see everything in action. Part two, we'll get to build it. Part two. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll put links. Um, PC part picker link will be down in the description, along with some Amazon links to all the parts we've picked. And if you guys have any questions like Average Bo had, leave them down down here in the comments. Um, you know, ask us any questions. We we are here. 
Um, we, we, we love questions because it gives us more videos to make and we get to go on a hunt for, for parts and if you're anything like us, we're, we're huge nerds and that's our favorite thing to do. So uh, yeah, let us know. Um, like I said, down in the comments. Yeah, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It'll probably be somewhere here on the, the actual subscribe button. Like, there's also yeah a big red button that says subscribe. <laughs> you can click that. It's not hard. But I'll also put a little logo like down here. Oh, wait, that looks inappropriate. Uh, but yeah, let us know. This is gonna be a run-on ending. We're just gonna continue. Just to... yeah, just like and subscribe though. But like, could you like and subscribe? Have you done it yet? All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.